students of schools and colleges clashed with the security forces in Sopor, Magam, Langate of North Kashmir, and in Anantnag of South Kashmir when they tried to stage a protest against the alleged high-handedness of security forces. In Sopor, the students of Boys High Secondary School pelted students on security forces deployed on the gate of school, triggering clashes. Reports said that forces had been deployed on the main gate of school, which annoyed the students who started protesting by raising pro-freedom slogans and pelting stones. The forces fired tear gas smoke shells on protesting students, creating chaos in the area. Soon the students of degree college also joined the high secondary school students, hence intensifying protests. In Magam, intense clashes between students and forces erupted after police allegedly came to arrest some students. Reports said that police and CRPF party entered the premises of Government Degree College and High Secondary School Magam as the classwork was going on. Reports said that the arrest of six students triggered protests, followed by clashes. Demanding release of the arrested students, student pelting students were charged with tear gas shelling by security forces. In Langet, Clashes erupted between students and forces when the students of Garmet High Secondary School Langate took to streets to protest against the students' arrest. Forces lobbed tear gas shells to disperse the protesting students, triggering clashes. Following the clashes, shopkeepers downed their shutters and traffic went off the road. In Anantnag, the students held a protest demonstration against the alleged army high-handedness in Duru town. The anguished students alleged that some of their schoolmates were beaten by the army. Reports said that protesters erupted initially at Naugam, Verinag, when some of the students were allegedly beaten by army following minor stone pelting on army vehicles that was coming from Kapran. Reports said that the army stopped passenger bus and asked passengers to come down. The army, as per reports at the spot, beat a few students and took away their identity cards which triggered protests in Duru. Union Home Secretary Rajiv Maharishi today called on Chief Minister Mahabha Mufti in Srinagar. During the meeting, the Home Secretary discussed the overall situation in the state with the Chief Minister. Heritage Global School Faridabad, an air-conditioned boarding school with world-class facilities. We develop creativity, we nurture talents like table tennis, swimming, cycling, skating, horse riding. Contact Heritage Global School Dhodge, Sona Road, Faridabad. Call 8130-599-100 and contact us at heritageglobal.ac.in. A complete shutdown was observed in Shipian district of South Kashmir against the disappearance of a local youth, Zubair Ahmad Ture, which police claimed fled from the custody on May 1st. All shops and other business establishments were closed in the town while the traffic was off the road. Zubair, a resident of Bon Bazar area, was serving detention since 2015 when he was booked under the Public Safety Act for his alleged involvement in stone pelting protests. On May 1st, police claimed that Zubair fled from Kigam police post. Locals said that he had served his sentence and police were detaining him illegally. Inhabitants of Handwara town alleges that the ignorance of the authorities has turned the area into the garbage dump. The inhabitants are aghast due to the inaction of the concerned department to provide the proper sanitation in the area. They said that the streets have turned into garbage dumping sites which is taking heavy toll on the health of inhabitants, especially children. Heritage Global School Faridabad, an air-conditioned boarding school with world-class facilities. We develop creativity, we nurture talents like table tennis, swimming, cycling, skating, horse riding. Contact Heritage Global School Dhodge, Sona Road, Faridabad. Call 8130-599-100 and contact us at heritageglobal.ac.in.